Aussie bookie Crown Bet was caught in the middle of a merger love triangle with UK firms William Hill and Paddy Power Bet Fair yesterday as the spate of consolidation deals in the gambling sector saw the two bookies fighting for a suitor. Just hours after William Hill confirmed that it was in talks over merging its Australian subsidiary with Crown Bet, reports surfaced that FTSE 100 rival Paddy Power was also negotiating with the Melbourne-based bookie over tying up a deal. Deal-making among betting firms has transformed the industry in recent years but GVC's takeover attempt of Ladbrokes Coral was recently shelved by the uncertainty created by the upcoming conclusion of the government's review into the betting sector. Canaccord Genuity analyst Simon Davies argued that a deal makes sense in William Hill's case, adding that the bookies' foray into Australia has been fairly disastrous. Its Australian business only represents 6% of the bookies' profits but that is likely to come under pressure from the impending credit betting ban and increased tax, he added. While Paddy Power was propelled to the top of the FTSE 100 climbing 275p to 88 pounds and 10 pence, William Hill shares were less enthusiastic, dipping 1.7p to 282.1p elsewhere. Consumer goods giants Reckitt Benckiser, Unilever, and Diageo were in demand after taxes on imported goods in China on a range of goods from whiskey to cashmere knitwear were lowered from an average of 17.3% to 7.7%. The Chinese Ministry of Finance said that the changes were designed to make goods in the Asian powerhouse more affordable and boost domestic consumer spending. Smirnoff maker Diageo edged up 7.5p to £26.23 and while Reckitt and Unilever jumped 50p to £64.70 and 28.5p to £42.61, respectively, as the three multinationals softened the FTSE 100's 7.60-point fall to 7409.64.